All right, we're back in the kitchen with Chef Nicholas Schaus, co-owner of Twisted Rose Winery and Eatery. And here was the concept that you gave us here this morning. You get a bottle of wine. Maybe somebody gives you a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't like that wine. Maybe you're not a wine drinker, but you showed us two recipes earlier that you can use with that bottle of wine, and you're about to show it the, a third, right? That's correct. Okay, but what if you really like the bottle of wine, and then you've just used it all up in cooking? Then what? No, buy a second one. You need two bottles of wine. That's a whole nother segment. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the this is the first one you made Absolutely. earlier, right? This Absolutely. was the uh, dressing, and then this is the the finished chicken. Oh, Brendan, you got to come check this out. This is yummy. Absolutely. Look at this. This is how this came out, using Absolutely. once again a little bit of wine. Absolutely. And we have this much left. That's correct. Oop, right here. Mm -hmm. And what are we going to do with it? We first are going to plump up our cranberries and our strawberries. Usually helps overnight, but we want to get them nice and soaked in there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. do you, would you leave them in the refrigerator or just overnight? Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really em emboss that wine flavor in into the fruit. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Then later we will take because we're going to make a reduction sauce with it as well. Uh huh. We're not done with it yet. Okay. So we wanted to keep that. Love that sound. Absolutely. That means it's working. Okay. Absolutely. So we're going to take our pan with our ramekins that we have. We're going to first start by putting some of our bread in. What kind of bread do you use? Um, I feel the best way to start is some nice little uh, dinner rolls left over from the night before. Oh, hey, what a great idea. Absolutely. No, no, no sense having wasted product in I agree. anything. I agree. Absolutely. We're going to go ahead and garnish our bread here. Now, are you using, um, can you use frozen cranberries? You can, okay. absolutely. I would definitely thaw them out. Some of that moisture is going to leak in there and oh. really uh, wet down your product, the oh. final so, product. So thaw them and then dump some of that out because absolutely. you want the wine infused. That's correct. Okay, uh, gotcha. We want to carry that flavor throughout our dish. Okay. That really helps make a nice signature and everything. Okay, what'd you just pour in there now? That's my heavy cream. Okay. And that's our substance um, base because we're going to temper some eggs into here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Temper some eggs. I've never done that before. What does that mean? That means you, what you are doing is using, uh, you want to bring the eggs up to a temperature to um, make them not coagulate and okay. make scrambled eggs in the bottom of our dish because oh. it's not visual appealing or taste. So right. what we want to do is warm up our cream. Okay. We add this uh, eggs all together, yolks and all. We add some sugar and sugar also helps kind of bind it all up. We want to mix all that together, and then as our cream just starts to warm, uh -huh. you get it up to about 180 degrees or so, just until it starts to bubble and simmer. Okay. We want to mix that really well together like that, uh -huh. and then once that gets up to temperature, then you want to temper that in. If this is boiling hot, you want to wait because you're going to instantly have scrambled eggs. Oh, okay. And we definitely don't want to have that. So it's important that you keep an eye on this, and Absolutely. it's just right before it gets to that point, take it off? Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it ready then, or do you it want pretty it to much pull is a little ready. bit more? No, okay. absolutely. Okay. And then you would pick it up just like this, and make sure your eggs are constantly moving. Okay. We like movement. Yes, it, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> and it just slowly will work itself in there and blend very nicely together. You can leave your pan right here. We're going to have about a minute left. Are you going to be able to absolutely. make it? Okay. And if not... I always bring, come prepared, joy uh, of television. Ah, uh, yes, the magic of television. Mm -hmm. And that, that's it, that you pour that, that's it? That's all you pour that's over? That's it, pour over it. Wow. You want to let it soak into that bread a little bit and okay. really emboss that flavor. Okay. And then as you carry one to the oven, we magically make one appear. Oh, I love how that works. Absolutely. Wow, you have hands of steel. I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trades a chef in a kitchen, I assure you. Okay, uh, here's what you forgot to mention. You put a little water in the you bottom. You do. You want a little bit of water in the bottom of your pan, kind of a Bay Marie type flour, uh, philosophy. What? No, go ahead, please. Oh, You're you just diving like, right in there. <laughs> You look at me like, what are you doing? No, I'm like, no, eating. That's what I'm doing. Isn't that why you're here? I know, but you're missing out on the best part <laughs> oh, of the whole dish. Sorry. No, yeah, our reduction sauce. So okay, this I'll was just what sip was, wine while you do yeah, that. Absolutely. So this was the end of our wine that we had, and we just let it reduce down. So its own natural syrups and stuff will let it allow it to reduce down and thicken up. So you walk in the restaurant, you hand all the ladies a glass of wine. Absolutely. They get to enjoy a beautiful meal like this, including dessert. Including dessert. All right. All right. Well, let me, uh, let me just do a little taste test here, Susan. Absolutely. I'll uh, make sure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? I know. It's your necklace. Like this. Well, I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute. OK. Mm. Very good. Awesome. Thanks so much. All right. Yummy, yummy, yummy.